drugs, but this is the American government. The study of LSD continues in laboratories and hospitals throughout the United States. They paid us $25 a day to come down there, and then they gave us stuff. What is LSD? How does it work? When did it all begin? It all began in a laboratory very much like this one. In 1938, Dr. Albert Hoffman in Switzerland was looking for new drugs in the treatment of migraine headaches. When I discovered LSD, it was believed it was a, a product of laboratory. And then we discovered that these compounds had existed already for thousands of years in the plant kingdom. He had been studying molds that grow on rye plants. Now, it turned out that these substances were of no use in the treatment of migraine headaches. However, it was found that these substances could produce a change in mental state closely resembling some forms of insanity, in particular, schizophrenia. When I was asked to do these drug experiments, I thought these drugs might give us a way to cure insanity, to overcome depression. That was part of what we thought we were doing. What kind of preparation were you given for it? Were you given any? None at all. I'd read a little piece in Life magazine about how they'd given it to cats, and cats were afraid of mice once they'd had LSD. What was that very first trip like, though, under the experimental conditions? It was on a ward, on a nuthouse ward. You'd go in a little room, there'd be a bed, and a stand with some water on it, and a tape recorder, and nothing else. There's a little window right here with wire through it, and you could look out and see the people out in the other room. Do you have any anxiety, or do you feel... Um... Kind of excited about the idea? Well, or I feel more excited than I do anxious. You feel pretty good about the, the whole thing and uh, kind of um, open and just waiting to see what happens. That's right. That's not very good. That's like a good experiment. The machine here to my left is all cogs and gears of electricity. And I keep thinking that I should hear from it. I feel fairly drunk, like I'm lying on the back with the whirlies. They're there. Light at the top of the room. It's like a great eye to which is the optic nerves are leading to all the walls. The nurse who was in here, she's wearing this sheath style costume probably because the belly around her middle is beginning to be blue and overhanging and she has to cover that blue rolly flesh. It's like looking at Rorschach test and seeing mashed testicles. It's quarter to one. I'm high out of my mind. Wild color images. <laughs> this is great colored frog of a man outside standing at the door like at some, some guy's room and the guy's all teetering on the bed there and the guy's yelling, man, hey, hey man, this is the most ins insane thing. I just realized how much the wool in the sack of microphone looks like a shaver. Wool in sack. Sack, what a thought. And also the trouble for you as a tape recorder, you waiting toad, look at you there. You don't realize how much you look like this toad. From where I lay, I could see the unwinding reel. It's your brain without which you just, you don't even become a toad anymore. It's a dead thing, which could be loaded with new brain. I can see it unwinding. Therefore, I'm going to shut you off because we're losing too much of your brain. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I mean, is the, uh, you seem to feel there's still some effect to the drug? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I told you about the strobe light. It was so great. What was the effect of the strobe light? Well, it's like a magnetic force field because everything that went to it was 
concentric going into the strobe light. Bats and hen eggs and everything cascade into the strobe light and it blinked. The guy next door was, was playing against the band rock and roll. And this would have an effect of uh, very discordant in color. It affected the imagery. Well, there are more mathematical patterns, hexagons and pentagons and mummies and things that you might find on a pyramid wall. Was this, would you say, an uncomfortable or a comfortable experience? Mm -hmm. I think it's a good experience. I think any time you see more, especially if you have a, a basic inherent love of most people, and when I came out of it, I felt like it was like discovering a hole that went into the center of the earth and you could see jewelry down there and you wanted your people to go down and enjoy it.